What's up guys, I'm Adam from Diddy Reviews, thanks for joining me again. Today I've got a really interesting product which you may not have heard of, uh, something I haven't heard of uh, until recently, um, and basically I reached out to a company called Bionix, um, so thank you Bionix for sending this out for review. Um, this is a really, really interesting gaming mouse, this is the Myonix Neos QC, I think that's how you pronounce it, Neos, um, smart gaming mouse. Um, we'll talk about this more about what why it makes it unique uh, in a second. Um, so we'll get it unboxed and then we'll plug it in and we'll have a go with it. Right, so as I mentioned in the, the intro to the video, this is the Myonix Neos Q, uh, QG Smart Gaming Mouse from Myonix. And you might be able to see on the box, there's two little things down here. We'll talk about those in a second when we get it unboxed. This is a smart gaming mouse. Um, having a look around, smart craftsmanship. I won't show you that just yet. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, and a few details on the back. Again, I want to show you the mouse first before we actually talk about what that is. So let's get it open. Comes in a nice box, actually. Uh, nice, it's nice, nice to present. So we open it up, and as you can see here, this is the Myonix. Neos QG. So once we get out of the package, we'll have a talk about what we get in here. Um, so you obviously get the mouse. We'll have a look at that in a second. And um, you get some Myonix stickers, um, some gaming stickers if you want to put those anywhere, and you get a quick start guide as well. Um, but first, let's talk about the mouse. So here's the mouse itself. And um, got a braided cable, USB A cable. Um, it's not too stiff. It's not super flexible like my uh, glorious Model D minus cable. That Ascension cable, but that shouldn't be a, too much of a problem. Uh, and then this is the mouse itself. As you can see, it comes in grey. I don't think they do this particular one in any other colours. I think it's just the grey. Um, however, they do make other gaming mice if you're interested in having a look. I'll put the link in the description below. So this is the mouse itself. And as you've probably noticed, there's two weird sort of looking things at the bottom here. Now these are sensors, and I'll tell you what they do just now. So if we look at the box, uh, you probably can't see it on camera. Um, but the left hand one is a heart rate sensor and the right hand one is a GSR sensor which I'm not actually sure what that means. That is a galvanic skin response and activity sensor. Um, yeah, don't know what that means um, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look into it. So as I said this is a smart mouse so this can read your heart rate and um, sort of I assume it reads something else as well but we'll look at that in the software in a second. Um, I'll probably put it on the screen so you can see. Um, before we get there as well. So let's have a look over the mouse itself. Um, it's not particularly heavy, it's not particularly light. Um, I'll find out uh, the sort of weight of this and put that up on the screen as well. Um, so in terms of feel, the build quality is absolutely lovely. It is a sort of more of an ergonomic sort of feeling mouse. So you've got, obviously you've, your fingers rest nicely in these sort of grooves for the buttons. You've got a bit for your thumb there, a nice rest here um, at where your side buttons are. Um, and then you've got this bit here, which your sort of whatever that finger's called, <laughs> and your little finger can can sort of rest on. And I've got to say, on first impressions, it is really, really comfy. Obviously, it only really promotes one sort of style grip, which is like your palm grip. Um, so you, you're probably not very good for any other grips. Possibly could sort of do more of a, a claw sort of grip on it, um, and it still wouldn't be too bad. But it's more sort of aimed at that nice palm grip fully in your palm and uh, yeah ready to go um, in terms of the feel of it there's literally no creaking whatsoever the quality of it is absolutely lovely um, with it being great it's probably not going to fit in everyone's setup as you can see my setup's red um, but it doesn't stand out too much um, and then again that's a personal preference um, it looks like there's some sort of light in here whether that's RGB or not I don't know but we'll have a look at that in a second and then in terms of the clicks um, all feels lovely. I'm not sure what uh, switches are in here, but again, I'll see if I can find that out and pop that up on the screen. But yeah, um, it is a continuous scrolling, which is most of them, to be fair. Um, but it's got obviously the little notches in it so you can feel it. And um, there's no way of changing that. Um, but that's not a problem at all. And uh, yeah, like I say, it, it, it feels, feels really, really nice, really, really well made. And I'll see sensors at the bottom here. Um, I can't see anything on the mouse for changing DPI unless it's these two here. Again, I'll look into that and let you know. Um, but I can't see any indication of what it's on unless, again, it's in that light there. 
Um, on the bottom, you've got your skate feet sort of things, whatever you want to call them, um, to help it glide nicely across. Um, on my mouse mark, it feels absolutely lovely. Um, there's no resistance whatsoever. Well, there obviously is some resistance, um, but it feels really nice and glides quite well. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll jump on and have a look at the software. Um, I believe it's sort of an Overwolf plugin, and you can also use OBS as well. And you have to download the Myonix Hub. Um, so we've got all that installed, ready to go. We'll plug it in and we'll see um, see what it's like. Right, so as you can see on screen, um, this is the software you get for it. It's the Myonix Hub, um, and it does come with an overlay as well. And um, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so uh, yeah, this basically the first menu is basically you can change your sort of what your buttons do. Um, you can basically change them to do whatever any sort of function the mouse can do. You can sort of change your buttons around as you wish and how you want to use them. Um, so the as I was on about earlier about DPI, um, you can change it here with this top button, or you obviously you can change it to a different button. And your bottom button does your profile, so you can change that. Um, the only thing I don't see is sort of. I don't see whether your sort of information is to tell you what sort of setting you're at. That's the only other thing I can't see. On that, uh, we go to performance. Um, in terms of DPI, we can go up to 12,000 DPI, so it's a 12,000 DPI sensor. You can adjust it so you can change your ver horizontal and vertical independently if you want to. So that's sort of quite a, a gamery feature, I suppose, for people that want to sort of fine tune. Um, you've got angle snap in here, which um, if I click on that, filters small deviations in movement, helping you to move across there across the screen in a straight line. Um, so if that's what you want to do and have a mess around with that, you can tune it with the angle there as well. Um, that's obviously something I won't be getting into because um, I'm not exactly sure how to use it, um, but probably more sort of professional gamers might have a better idea. Uh, and you can change the polling rate down from 1000 down to 125 if you so wish. And you can change the safe click latency, which basically infor, uh, avoids unwanted clicks. If you need to be saying if you're going to bang it into your keyboard or things like that, you can put it down to zero if you're brave, it says. Um, and then we go to the color, and you can change basically these two lights here. You can only have them solid. Um, so at the moment, I'll set it to red. Um, obviously, you can change, like I say, you can change the colors between pretty much all the colors. So it is RGB, but there is no effect. It's either solid or off for that. And then we'll go up to the quantified gaming tab, which is what where these sensors come in. So you've got a heart rate sensor and your GSR sensor, I think it was called. Um, so you place your hand on there. This is where the overlay comes in as well. I'll put that into the center so you can see it. Which you can change between three different colors to make it easier to see on the screen. Um, so here we've got basically record your clicks. So 299 clicks. And then we've got a distance of 17 meters. So it actually records how far you've moved your mouse as well. And the time, time used is 12 minutes in total. And scroll is, as it says, records the scroll. So as you scroll, it goes up and down uh, for that. And then obviously down here, like I say, is where the sensors come in. So you've got your heart rate monitoring beats per minute. It measures it using the heart rate sensor on the mouse. So currently running at 107, it gives you a max and an average. Um, and also records your clicks per second here. So as you click there, it goes one, your clicks per second and uh, so a max is seven and a half so far even though I showed eight also uh, can record your speed of your mouse as you move your mouse about it will increase and it will record that as well and it shows your heart rate and GSR down here so then after that you can go on to your statistics page and it will show you basically um, what's going off in terms of your heart rate when you were playing and things like that um, also shows your apps up here as I don't know whether what that percentage is, whether it's um, percentage of CPU usage or not thought, uh, percentage of time I assume whilst you've got this hub open of what, what you spend your time on. And then you can show your heart rate, your clicks per second and your speed in sort of a graph so you can see how it went. So you can do a gaming session um, and then see how your heart rate was through that gaming session. So if you're playing something like I play PUBG, when you get into like a final circle, um, you can expect that to probably go up quite a lot and it will uh, sort of record in there. So anyway, let's get into some gaming and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what it's all about. So we're just going to go into uh, a little team deathmatch here on PUBG um, just to give it a test. Like I say, it's probably not going to be uh, quite as uh, informative as what it would be on a proper PUBG match when you get to the end, but I haven't got time to, to, to play around with that and figure out what's going on. Um, so yeah, we'll choose that. We'll get into a match and we'll have a little play and we'll see sort of how it responds and we'll uh, we'll check out the statistics afterwards. 
There's the first kill. Let's see how well this is uh, going. At the moment, I'm not very good at this game, so uh, we'll see. I'm only going to play it for a couple of minutes just so we can uh, sort of see what the statistics say. And I'm dead, which is pretty normal for me. So yeah, I'm actually getting quite used to the, uh, the way this feels in your hand, it's actually quite nice. Like I say, it's not going to be for everyone's taste. Anyway, that'll do. Um, we've had a little test with that and um, see how it performs. Now let's have a quick look at the, uh, the software and see what it's read. Um, so, got statistics here. So that's for the last few minutes there. Um, as you can see, my heart rate is a bit up and down, dependent. That's probably where my hands left the mouse a little bit. So, um, as you can see, it did come up a bit as I was playing uh, and I came back down. Um, so, yeah, that's a, an overview of the mouse and sort of a kind of how I feel about it at the moment. Um, so let, uh, let's uh, get back up top and conclude this. Right, so there we have the Neos QG Smart Gaming Mouse from Myonix. And um, yeah, I quite, I quite like it actually. Uh, in terms of the mouse itself, build quality is fantastic. Um, like I say, I'll put up on the screen what the switches are and things like that and the weight so you can uh, sort of figure out for yourself where it's going to be for you because some people obviously like a lighter weight a lighter mouse and some people prefer a heavier one. Um, now in terms of using it, um, as I've said previously in the uh, before in the video, um, it's not for everyone. Um, it does promote a palm grip obviously because those sensors, that's the reason it's designed like that I assume, um, to make sure your hand goes on it like that. Um, so it's not going to be to everyone's taste. Um, I only played it, played with it for probably 10 minutes in total. Um, as I was messing around before I sort of recorded the video and I had a little play myself to see what it was like um, and I actually got used to it. I, I'm kind of a person that will just flick my wrist around rather than picking the mouse up and, and dragging like that so um, for me it works quite nicely. Um, I did feel it made my hand a bit sweaty but I'm used to using a honeycomb one so it might be sort of why that is. Again it's quite hot in here so um, that might also be a factor in that. Um, in terms of, like I say, in terms of the, the feel and everything, it depends on your sort of style of play uh, and whether this will fit your hand. If you're going to be one of those people that will throw the mouse about quite a lot and move your actual arm rather than just your wrist, it's probably not for you because your the base of your palm and your wrist will be proper resting on the desk and it's probably not that comfortable. It's going to be quite a bit of resistance from your wrist on the mouse mat. Um, so for those people, it's probably not quite, quite for them. Um, now let's talk about the sort of extra smart features that you get with it. Yeah, it probably is a little bit of a gimmick, um, but it is quite cool. Uh, it's not seen anything like this before. I don't know if there's anyone else that does this. Um, but for, I assume, personally, it's aimed at streamers, so they can actually show on the screen people that are watching. They can show what the heart rate's doing, which is about to be quite interesting to see, depending on what game you're playing. If you're playing sort of like horror games or things like that, it'll actually be quite interesting to see how this sort of affects you and how your heart rate goes up, depending on what you're playing. Um, so in terms of that, it's actually really cool. Um, so yeah, for those kind of people, people that are streaming, this is quite a good mouse. Maybe they could come out with come up with a one that's I don't know got got it in a different place or a different design for different people that have got 
different sort of um, palm styles and things like that for holding the mouse. Um, as like I say before, it doesn't suit everybody. Um, but game with it for the short period of time I have, I will obviously continue to game with it and see how how I feel about it over long term and I'll probably put it in the comments of this video um, so I can let you know how I feel about it over a longer period of time. Um, yeah, it feels it feels really nice and it performed really well as well. Didn't have any issues with it actually. My aim was quite good on that game. I'm not very good at it and I actually did all right. It actually kept my aim quite nice actually. Um, so yeah, um, RGB, it's only got the uh, static colors. Um, there's no effects or anything for that. So if you're an RGB person, again, probably not for you. Um, but other than that, um, I can definitely recommend it. It is, it is a good mouse, it feels quality and um, feels nice in the hand and performs really well. Um, and if you're after a few extra features on your mouse, uh, like the heart rate sensor, then then this is for you. And like I say, if you're a streamer, it will be ideal, I would have thought, because you can show your viewers um, at what your heart rate is doing if you play certain types of games. So like I say, horrors and things like that, this would be ideal for, because you can actually see how it's affecting them, as the, uh, how it's affecting you as, as you play, and you can show that to people as well. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, thanks for watching this video. I hope this has helped. If you've not seen this video before, I hope it's uh, been quite interesting. Um, if you were considering buying it, I hope it's to help you decide. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this review. Um, I can, like I say, I can recommend it. Um, so if you were thinking of buying it then and it suits your style, as I've mentioned, then definitely go out and buy it. It's a, it's, it's a really nice mouse. So like I say, that's it guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you, if you can, and please like this video if you liked it, uh, dislike it if you didn't like it, and don't forget to subscribe. I've got many more videos coming soon, um, so stick around and uh, you'll see some more content coming from me. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.